to you all. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Marsha P. Johnson used to greet their friends like that. Probably not, thank you. But who knows? She only knows. She was a trans woman of color in New York City. For many years, she managed to survive, putting a smile on her face, doing sex work, begging on the streets, sleeping wherever her friends would let them. June 28, 1969, cops came in into the Stonewall Hotel and started harassing patrons there, as they, were, as they have been doing for so long. This time, some people have had it. Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, trans women, and also a lesbian woman, started the fight because they had enough. They had enough of the nonsense that society was making of their life. Thanks to them, we stand here today. The LGBT movement grew from there worldwide. The gay movement the gay rights. I guess back there we didn't really know about how, the power of language. We didn't really know how different and how diverse we are in this community. They didn't ask for gay marriage because they had, had it with marriage. So they didn't ask all the things that we should have asked at one go. So this fight prolonged for years. The next year, the first gay pride in New York happened at the same time of the year. By 1978, the gay community asked the trans community not to show up with their pride. Because we were, we were putting them to shame. Because at that point, we still hadn't left the streets. We were still getting beat up. We were still getting ostracized. And believe me, we still are. We're in a more passive aggressive way. But back then, that community did not take it either. They went and marched right up front the gay, the gay march, the gay parade. And they were the stars of that parade. But that was only the beginning of a really, really long fight. I am an immigrant to this country. When I came to this country, running away from violence, from Honduras, I'm lucky to be here. Many, many don't make it. There are exoduses going on right now all over the world. We are practically refugees in our own world. And we're still divided. We are still poking at each other. Because we don't want to face up to the situation that there is a big war happening already. There will be a huge water war happening already. And who has all the water? Those are the things that should be first and foremost in our, in our lives. How to stop what's coming our way. But no, we're still fighting against each other. There are still sex workers in the streets who are misunderstood. There are still people that get ostracized. I came to this, to this country, and once I felt safe enough to 
really be myself. I guess I didn't know I had gay rights. Gay privileges. I used to travel. I used to do all the things everybody else does. Because gay is normalized. But not trans. Up until this point, us trans people are facing numerous, and I say, and I mean it, numerous problems that affect our daily life. Our mental health is decaying every single time. To get out of that door, if we are lucky to have a home, we know what's coming. Just a few days ago, I left my house just to get something to eat. 